Welcome to Trappist Nation. My name is Andreas and today we will be reviewing the Shimei Blur. Shimei Blur is for me personally a very special beer. <clears throat> you could say it was the actually the beer that started all of this. Uh, the year was 1998 and at the time I didn't really drink alcohol at all, uh, especially not beer. Um, one night out with my friends, uh, I told the bartender the uh, very same thing, uh, when it was my time to order. Uh, he just smiled and said, since you don't seem to have any uh, preconceptions what a beer should taste like, why not try one of the best beers in the world? Uh, and he picked this funny tilt glass and poured me a dark beer with the uh, creamy head and say this is Chimay Bleu, you will love it. I was to say at least skeptical but I had a sip and I was just I was just blown away. I mean it was as if time stopped and I was drinking the nectar of heaven. I can almost hear the angels singing. I mean I had no idea the beer could taste like this uh, it was just it was just amazing. It had these wonderful notes of plums and dark fruits and spices and burnt sugar. I mean I was completely gobsmacked um, and that's how it actually started for me with the Chimay Bleu. It was the that was the beer. Um, and sent me on this trip and journey and exploration of, of Belgian and, and especially Trappist beers. Um, the Chimay Bleu uh, started out as a Christmas celebration uh, beer back in 1948 when uh, Father Theodore, uh, brewmaster at the time, um, decided to produce a special Christmas beer. Um, the beer was so good the most of the monks had to work the facility to keep up with the man, which uh, became a problem because, yeah, as Trappist monks trying to find a balance between working, sleeping, and, and praying. Um, but yeah, the success meant that the, the, the Chimay Blood was soon produced uh, all year round. Uh, and that's simply how Chimay Blood was born. Um, the beer at the time was also given the name of Grand Reserve uh, as it's an excellent beer for laying down and building up a reserve. Personally, I prefer to drink Chimay Bleu when it's uh, been stored for a couple of months uh, because I find it a little bit sharp uh, when it's just been bottled, uh, especially when it comes to these uh, smaller uh, bottles. Good thing is Chimay do offer quite a lot of different sizes to choose from. Um, starting off with the this small um, 33 centiliter bottle uh, and then you have the bigger 75 centiliter bottle. After that we have the 1.5 liter magnum, 3 liter uh, bottle uh, and the ridiculously big 6 liter bottle. Uh, bottle. I mean I'm not really sure when the right time would be to open a bottle that's this big and it's heavy but I mean when the time comes and you pop this bad boy um, it would be a good time I promise you that. Um, so to wrap this uh, review up to this day, I still think that Chimay Bleu is one of the best beers in the world. That's, that's what I think, uh, especially on tap. Uh, and you, if you haven't tried it before, I urge you to do it uh, because it's just a, a, it's an amazing, an amazing beer. So what's my review? Well, I will give it a 4.5 out of 5 any day. Um, Hope you enjoy guys, see you soon and don't forget to subscribe.